Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to show you how to incorporate application resources files in your Struts application, specifically Struts 2, 2.5 applications that are using annotations, and use those as your i18n properties files. I'm also going to show you how to do package properties as well. In the previous tutorial that I did, I showed you how to use action class properties and some of the issues that happen when you interact with those. I think you'll find the application resources properties are a little bit easier to work with. So in my last tutorial I showed people how to use properties for actions. You can see I've got a little page here that you know, it looks like it doesn't really register properly but if you trigger it through a struts action you can see that all of these fields here your first name which maps to the properties up here your first name all get put onto the form that's all part of the register action properties file which works with the register action object all fine and dandy all works really really well but these aren't global or package level properties so i wanted to demonstrate how you can actually include application resources or package level properties in your your program so right now that was a, a special action properties file i've got this package here com.mcnz.struts in resources i've got com mcnz struts folder if i create a brand new file in here called package.properties i can actually get struts to use any name value pairs that i put in here inside any of the resources that action actions inside of this package are going to trigger so for example let me just throw a package level greeting in there. Package.greeting equals this. And then I'll go into my registration.jsp file. And inside that, I will do something like, well, that's package greeting here in the register JSP. I will type in s text name equals and what package.greeting. And hopefully when this runs this greeting will come out. Now, I say hopefully. Now, I know that it actually won't because it won't actually run unless you put that JSP through a struts action. So if I just run the JSP directly, it's not going to work. So you notice it just says package greeting, just like it says person bean dot first name. With these action level properties files and with these package level properties file, they have to go through a struts action first. This link here forces them to go through the register action. So if I click on here, notice everything works. So that's pretty cool. Now, just looking at that register action, what that does is that calls the display action in that register class. And you can see that display action here skips validation and just send somebody to the input result which is mapped to the register JSP file. So that's how you can use package level properties but I think it's more interesting to use application resources. People are pretty comfortable with application resource files for doing internationalization. To use them all you have to do is go into your web.xml file and add an init parameter and say use it struts custom i18n resource and make it application resources and from that point on you can actually use that application resources file to do name value pair i18n localization internationalization and just generally you know extracting text from your JSP files I think it's a much better way of doing it and so you specify application resources here it could be any name but that's the standard then you create a new file called application resources dot properties right in there and then you can do i don't know put something like global greeting this is the global application resources greeting and that's what ar stands for and all of a sudden you've now got this property here that can be pulled into your jsp files and in fact it can be pulled into your jsp files a lot easier than the package greeting so just watch this i'll use the struts text tag say pull in the global greeting i'll run this register.jsp on the server i may have to start the server but hopefully not new property well, looks like the server's starting for me anyways and notice right there this is the global ar meeting now the the thing about this properties file is it's not being forced to go through a struts action in order to work right like the package and then the um, action properties i gotta push them all through 
struts action first, that global one didn't need that. So that's uh, pretty cool, definitely a benefit of using that. The other thing I would say there's a big benefit, well, I guess you get this with the other properties as well, but this is typically where you do your internationalization. So I'm gonna copy that file and I will paste it right into the same folder, which will force me to rename it. And I'll call it underscore FR for all of my French Canadian friends. I should probably do it for India, for all of the people that uh, watch from India. Shout out to Bangalore over here. Um, anyways, application resources here. Now I can change this to what is French for hello. That's bonjour. There we go. And now I've got a, a French greeting as well as the standard English greeting. And if I wanted to invoke a page using the French language locale, uh, this would come up. I could actually force that. So I can actually put a link on a page. Now let me see if I can figure out how to do this. I'm gonna go over to the register JSP. I'm gonna throw this right down at the bottom here. And I'm going to create a URL. And so I'm gonna create a URL, just like I created a URL up here to go to the display action, but I'll call it display French page link instead of display page link. And I'm gonna set the request locale to French. And then with that done, I can actually throw a link onto the page that uses that display French page link right there. And say, please display in French. And now when I run this particular file, Let's go register.jsp, run as, run on server. Okay, we've got this link here, display in French, and this is the one that's currently being displayed in English. I'll say display it in French, and notice it now says bonjour, because we have now internationalized this application with a French resource bundle. So there you go. If you take a look at this tutorial and the previous tutorial, it'll give you a good idea of how to internationalize and localize your application through the use of resource bundles. Don't forget that key entry in this web.xml file. It'll also show you how to use those package properties and the previous tutorial demonstrated how to use those action properties as well for your action beans. And there you go, that's how easy it is to incorporate application resources into your strut programs and also do a little internationalization as well, even a look at the package properties files as well. By the way, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there and we got all sorts of great tutorials on enterprise software development, strut, spring, hibernate, JSF, and all sorts of DevOps tutorials. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.